Hello, it's good morning here, so good morning. This is Out and About with Vintage Zookeeper. What I have here is the haul from the Hartville Mercantile. And I haven't put that video up yet, but it'll go up before this one, I hope. Anyway, here is my haul. I bought different stuff. I went on my way to buy different stuff. First thing we have here, I believe this is Imperial. Um, it's an owl. Can you see that? It's an owl. It's a pitcher. He has a boo-boo. He looks like he's blue there. It's really green. Wow, that's funny. He's really green. He has a boo-boo right here. So he will go at a lesser price, but people that display him are going to display him like that. So... That shouldn't be a problem. It's very pretty. All right. Next up, we have a baby, a baby swan, salt dip, salt cellar, open salt, whatever you call them. He's cobalt blue. He's very cute. You can see he's tiny, very tiny. Alright, this one is not for sale. This is going to show my mom's Easter basket. And it is a wind up clock with glow in the dark hand. So, that will be for my mother. It's very pretty. And if you hear tick, 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 I'm trying it out right now. I tried it out in the store. But I wanted to see if it, it would go. So, do I have it upside down? Maybe. Maybe not. No, nope, I don't have it upside down. Okay, so we're just letting it wind and see what happens. So we're taking that one away. That one goes home with us. Alright, this glows under black light. As you can see, it almost glows here. It's an aggregate. This might be a little. There's something on the bottom. No, oh, no, just gunk. Thought it might be. Oh no, there is. I have to look that up. I have not looked these up yet. Going the wrong way. I'm getting it out of the light instead of in the light. Huh. I'll have to look that up. So it's just a little dish. Just that it glows in the dark. It's very pretty in person. That's kind of a burgundy rust color. It's very pretty. Alright, now we have a bird. It's kind of shaped funny. But he's got all the little bubbles, different colors. It's kind of, he's kind of all right. All right. Next we have a wall pocket. Uh, Carnival China Company. You see where it hangs on the wall. Now, I'm going to put it's a wall pocket because it is. No matter what, it's a wall pocket. Now, is it a wall pocket to hold individual bugs? Or, stay with me here, is it a wall pocket to hold little plastic measuring spoons? That's what I think it is. I think it's supposed to hold measuring spoons. But it would hold individual buds, so it's a wall pocket. That's all I care about. It's a wall pocket. And those of you who watch my videos on cats and stuff, and I have a mess. Hey Merlin! 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 There he is! And there's Charlie! They always help me! 
always helping. It's usually not help, but we'll call it help. Okay. Now we have this. It's a it's a amethyst, a smoky amethyst. It's very pretty. Very pretty. I'm gonna look this up. I don't know who makes it. It's the same color that Fenton makes, but it, the shape does not look like Fenton. So I will have to look it up. And see, it's got a little rough spot right there. But it's very pretty. Very good. Alright, and then finally, this was an interesting. We got a little table thing. So, this, I'm sure, is for toothpicks, although it looks like a shot glass, I'm sure it's for toothpicks. We got a big pouring bottle, a little pouring bottle, and a shaker bottle. Not sure. If this had had that on, I'd call that salt and pepper. Maybe this was like first dusting sugar, powdered sugar or something. Vinegar, I'm sure. I'm not sure. But it's very cute. It's very cute. So we like it. And that's what I got at the Hartville Mergenthal. That was the first time going there. So I thought I'd try a variety of things. It's off the beaten path. It's not on the main drags in Hartville. So if you're planning on going there, you have to you have to go put it in GPS. So I was surprised where it is. It's beside some kind of car auto repair thing. So, but there it is. If you get a chance, go look on my eBay store, www.ebay.com slash str slash vintage zookeeper. And please like, subscribe, or make a comment. Have a good day.